Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dubious Engineering. This one you're absolutely going to love. So remember that big old pile of laptops that are sitting over in a corner? You don't know quite what to do with them. They sort of become less useful as time has gone on. Well, now, <laughs> check it out. You can basically unplug the display from the laptop. Look how thin that is. And with the help of just one little 20 quid card from China, you then have HDMI, DisplayPort, VGA, and even composite. And on top of that, this little card has got audio out on it as well. A little tiny audio amplifier so effectively from those old crappy laptops that you're not using anymore you can create a lovely little monitor which could be the beginnings of potentially a little games console or maybe even just a monitor for the kids or something to put in your camper van or in your car or wherever but ultimately you can repurpose the displays in your laptops with this 20 quid card from China. Now, the connections are different for each display, so you need to carefully look up the code which is written on the back of the display and chuck that into eBay. But ultimately, uh, you know, I've got a little Raspberry Pi connected up to this right now. It works a treat. The display is absolutely gorgeous. That's ultimately what I want to show you here today, is how to repurpose your old laptop displays. This is really quite cool. So let's get into the detail a little bit then. So uh, this little card here has a 12 volt input on it. So you can happily connect that to potentially a car battery and or, uh, you know, whatever power supply you might happen to have. Down here on the floor, I've got an old power brick, which actually is 15 volts, not 12 volts, but it's close enough. So I went ahead and repurposed that old laptop power supply and connected it into this PCB. Going forwards, note, <laughs> I have here a current clamp. Bearing in mind this is running 12 volts, the current clamp shows about half an amp when the screen is actually running. So with a group of 18650 batteries, again, that could have been taken out of your old power supply, you could indeed run this display for about four hours. That's quite epic. The PCB has a little control module on it, which gives you the ability to be able to enter menu settings, adjust your brightness, your contrast, change your volume, turn the system on, turn the system off. So you have an, a HDMI input, a display port input, a VGA input, and so you have a headphone output and a composite video input. The key thing, as I mentioned earlier, is getting the details of the display. Once you've removed it from your laptop, you then need to go ahead and look up the display model. This particular one here is an LG display. It's been made in China. It's an LP156WH3, open brackets, TL, close brackets, open brackets, S1, close brackets. And all of those little mnemonics there, all of those details are quite important that you get that correct when you put, your, when you put it into eBay. In eBay, you literally just search LCD display controller. And then you type the numbers that correspond to the numbers on the back of your LCD display in. And then after about a week, you literally get something from China that just plugs straight into your LCD and drives the LCD. Absolutely magnificent. Well, this is going to open up a whole new ballpark of projects for me. In my head, I've got ideas of more gaming consoles. Uh, I'm going to make a little display system for the wife downstairs so that she has a second monitor that she can enjoy. Yeah, so expect an awful lot coming out of this discovery going forwards. Ladies and gents, please check this out. This is a really good way of repurposing your old 
laptop components. It's really not hard to do this. You just need a screwdriver and you just get in there and you just basically tear that laptop apart, pop the screen out and boom, out pops this wonderful display that you can repurpose and make good use of going forwards. In my head, I'm thinking of making another Raspberry Pi laptop, but something with a big screen, something that's a little bit more usable, something that with, with a battery bank that lasts quite a while, something that I can play retro games on, and something that actually is useful for me when I want to pop on and do a little web browsing and maybe even keep it in the van so that I've got something in the van with Wi-Fi that I can always use. So pop a comment in down below any questions, any ideas you might have, and any thoughts that you might have about this video. I look forward to speaking. I always reply to your comments. I hope this video has been useful to you. Certainly, from my perspective, this has opened up a whole new gambit of mad ideas and inventions that are going to start springing out around the house all over the place. Take care. Thanks ever so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget, give us a good old thumbs up. Cheers and beers, people. Bye for now.